Good morning. Uh, my name is Robert Klein, and I am the chairman of the Stem Cell Funding Agency, CERM's governing board. Uh, it is a great pleasure to have you all here at UC San Francisco today in Mission Bay. It's an extraordinary year because we are just uh, this last week passing our fifth anniversary of actual operations with the first staff being added about uh, two weeks ago, five long years ago. In that extraordinary period of time, <coughs> the agency has been created an entire new regulatory process and program has been created, a scientific program with, with a strategic plan recently updated by our uh, president, Dr. Alan Trounsen, has pushed us forward to the very frontiers of stem cell research internationally. And one of the great gems of that program is the Disease Team Awards. This morning we're going to hear from one of the outstanding teams at the very edge of science's frontier for stem cells discussing an IPS in induced pluripotent stem cell therapy, dominant dystrophic uh, epidermolysis bullosis, which will be pronounced with greater acuity by the <laughs> proponents in their presentation. This is a disease that occurs in six to seven infants per million births, but as we pursue an IPS strategy here, it has the opportunity to unlock not only life-saving, incredibly important <coughs> relief from suffering for each of the children with this disease, but of unlocking the potential for therapies across a broad array of chronic disease that have plagued mankind for millennia. Each of these infants leads a torturous life. In the dominant form, it is survivable, but an extraordinary burden of suffering and limitations on capacity and the enjoyment of life. So let us uh, celebrate our efforts as we try and proceed carefully with moving science forward to address the human condition and reduce human suffering.